run it that fast, then mm -hmm. then then I'll I'll pay the well, I pay the ticket anyway. Yeah, but you signed it, it. You see, that's the, oh. But we, now we can go back into some of the legal shows that we did. Yeah. Uh, it's sometimes the way things are worded. It's not what you actually did or did not do. It's what you signed under uh, under a perjury threat of perjury. Sure. And so, if you make a mistake, then you would have to admit you made a mistake. Well, that takes you to perjury. So it's a vicious circle. It, yeah. So it, so it we have to learn exactly what our environment does yeah. for us, uh, including all the rules, yeah. and then follow them, or, or if we don't want to follow them, we know we're going to be outside of them. Mm -hmm. Now back to, to your uh, dilemma with, the, with your homeowners association. Um, at one time, um, I built house number six in Tanglewild East. So we almost on the same time span here when our first houses oh. came to Olympia. And so the the issues and the problems and the people and the goals at that time was a little different than they are now. Wow. And that's when you came in very yes, early. Yes. So now the new people come in with all these other ideas. But I would like for you to know and anybody out there, after we left yesterday, yes. I drove to your neighborhood. Oh. Mm -hmm. There are RVs in the Oh, yeah. In the front, oh, yeah. there are buses in the front, yes. there are delivery trucks in the front. Oh, yeah. So in case you're wondering if they're picking on you, they are. <laughs> yeah, but see, we don't want to see that. Even even we, when, when they pick on us, even we deny that. Because uh, I would hate to, I would have to think that somebody doesn't like me out there just because of the way I look, mm -hmm. or, or, or the way I, I, I speak, mm -hmm. or the way I dress. Uh, Lord knows, man, I hate for somebody to hate me for the way I was born. And and uh, it happens. So yeah. and and but we really don't like to see that. I I was um, and I applaud. I applaud the uh, um, the black uh, the dark race that w that was uh, that finally got together. Mm -hmm. And even though they said it was uh, well with Martin Luther King, it was, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be all peaceful. Mm -hmm. I don't really. I don't see that as peaceful. Sure, they were peaceful, but. Other people were not peaceful. They right. they were very very violent, and uh, but I applauded because uh, they they finally got together. We as as uh, Hispanics are so diverse yeah. that we have a hard time getting together. There, there, is, there is a tape uh, you can get it at the library, and I've made reference to it before. It is called the Color of Fear, and it's produced by the Baha'i, and uh, and the, the um, uh, what it is, they, they took a whole group of people and they, they went away for a weekend. And I believe in that case, they were all males. And so they were looking at those very same issues of why things are the way they are. And what they arrived at, you could not really just, um, you could not really, um, oh, what's what I'm looking for, identify the prejudice. What it turned out to be, it was entitlement issue of some of the Caucasians. Oh. So it wasn't really a prejudice issue. It's just here, right. through my eyes, in my shoes. Right. And there was, so each person explained how they viewed things and how it felt walking in those shoes. And it turned out that everybody, this person was upset with this person because of this person, because of this person. And it all had to do with entitlements. And that was, that was the issues. And the same thing with what happens to us. We feel that we are entitled right. to fair treatment. Yes. To honesty. Yes. And all of that. So if we don't get it, I think that puts us in the same category those other entitlement people are in. Oh my God, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that is, that is that's awesome. That's not good, huh? Yeah. Like my friend Kanashiba Shan would say, God bless them, we're going to have to let go of this. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's a struggle. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes I think we do need to struggle to, to shine forward. Mm -hmm. um, but gee whiz, come on, don't give me struggle all the time either. You know? Not all the time, yeah, right. And, and, and back to my earthquake dilemma here, it's... it's uh, <laughs> um, I wrote two articles, they available on, my, on the internet, uh, on my webpage, so you can read it. And these are where all things that got created later. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna put make a king of the world here for a minute. Mm -hmm. What what are you gonna do? Oh, if I was king of the world, uh -huh. relax. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's uh, you know it's easy to say I'm the king, uh, but I did learn e even kings cannot uh, rule their subjects unless the subjects want to be ruled. Yeah. Um, but if I had a wish, I, I would uh, wish for understanding, mm -hmm. um, total understanding between each other. Um, you know, they they said at one time we had it where, um, or it's almost like uh, telepathic, that we would understand each other. Mm -hmm. That way we couldn't lie to each other. Mm -hmm. uh, we we couldn't deceive anybody mm -hmm. because we would we would be so transparent. Mm -hmm. um, it would be nice. To well, do. some some of us are almost uh, we we working on trying to rekindle that. You know. Cool. Yeah. It, at the beginning, it was going to be kind of hairy, you know? I mean, hairy. <laughs> because you're going to know what uh, what secrets your other person uh, has. Well, it's somewhat confusing too because uh, since since we're trying to get that ability back, um, people want to go in detail, and, and you cannot tele telepathically give me details. It, earthquake again, for instance. All I want to hear is I'm okay, or help. The name and. So because if you explain to me, it, it's confusing telepathically. Um, just, you know, like call me, or call me, or go this way, or sure. uh, so we start simple, we can do that. Now, I don't know how you had planned on working this beautiful painting in here. Oh. I'd like to discuss it, even if for some reason we cannot get it in the camera all the way. Sure. And um, the background here, I went to Bernie's house yesterday, and. Uh, we were looking for an opening shot, and we thought we found a lion, and then I thought it was a bamboo, right. you ba you, baboon. You, you said, I said, look at that picture. What do you see? And yeah. you say, what's well, a lion? And I said, no, no, look at yeah. it again. And you say, well, maybe a baboon. Mm -hmm. uh, I can pick it up and, and can bring you? it up. Sure. OK, it is so beautiful. You have to see this. And this is kind of. This is kind of what we're trying to uh, put uh, the show today, what it's supposed to be. Uh, I don't know, can somebody uh, close up, like camera two yeah, or something? We, there yeah, you go, we, right there. We wonderful see? here. There you see. Yeah, we wonderful. I mean, this, this is sort of what we're trying to tell you today. I think, uh, who, who did this? Uh, Santana had a, the, the exact picture on his first album, mm -hmm. where if you see, like, the eyes, let me see. I'm, as I'm touching this, this is not a print. No, this is not this a print. Is not it, a it's, print. It's a painting. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's uh, somebody copied, but it's, it is a mm -hmm. painting. The uh, the eyes are heads. You want a pen? Sure. So we see heads here. Over here, there's two other heads looking at each other. Over here, there's a, a little man, a little boy with his arms open. And here's another head. So see, see instead of a nose, it's, it's her hair, her face. This is uh, her breast and her hands. Hands on her breast. I don't know where the hands come from. It's folded. Mm -hmm. But a skirt and her legs. And all through this, this is two more faces looking away from each other. These look like they're in pain. And all through here in the shadows, in the shadows are faces. So it's, it's not a lion, it's just a conglomerate uh, amount of faces and, and different people. And different perceptions. And different perceptions. Mm -hmm. So the perception we have sometimes from, uh, from each other is different until we really get close to and know the person. In, in this case, uh, Santana put uh, this picture on, on his album, and I think he did a good job. Good job, yeah. Just wonderful. Thank you. So let's see. Yeah, I thought that was important enough to say something about it. Um, what drives you, Bernie? Oh, it's uh, the people, the world, my my children, uh, and and me. Um, but my the energy behind my drive is is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. um, without trying to get religious or anything like that. Um, but I can't help it. 
from from the time I was uh, I could remember. Uh, I I remember the feel of, of somebody being with me. Mm -hmm. uh, not not here physically, but but always with me, with with my being. Um, uh, maybe it stems from when I was a little baby. I, I drank poison. Um, see, in Mexico, they paint, they still paint the the walls of the houses with chemicals. Mm -hmm. And as a baby, and nobody watching me, I I swallowed some. And um, they say I was dead. Um, so uh, it, since it's been so long, and, and you know, people say that nowadays they die and they they see. Yeah. Other things. Well, I, as a baby, and, and as a baby, I I knew there was an understanding there, and and it's been with me all along, all all, all these years. Uh, sometimes I like to suppress it, uh, or I do because of the things that are happening mm -hmm. in the world. But more and more, I'm I'm with it. Um. So so that's my drive, knowing that uh, we are here for a short while. Mm -hmm. and, and our true existence is afterwards, mm -hmm. and and that's what I that I'm working for is is that afterwards, because I know that afterwards is going to be a whole lot longer than than yeah. you know 80, 90 years, whatever I want to be here. Yeah, it's um, oh that that's a really wonderful statement. You see, I find that when we are in that spiritual frame of mind, you know, like go with the flow or follow your guidance, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think we are all willing to do that, but sometimes that humanness comes out and we just want to punch the lights out, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. so to speak, because it, it is just so hard to um, to go with the flow and worry about the three-dimensional necessities. Right. And so if we could ask the friends out there to, um, or the, the, the people, kind of look at the person and look in their heart before you, before you put a person into a situation where you actually would like to retaliate. Yeah. You know? And that's not showing love or, or anything like that. You know, stop. When, when, when you go to the store before you snap at this person, you don't know what we just encountered. And sometimes it's just that one more little thing. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I, before I retaliate on anything, what I like to think and, and know and see if, if there's a lesson that somebody's right. got to learn from it. Um, if for some reason who, who I'm dealing with, I know that they're not going to understand anything, yeah. uh, then to me, what would be the use of, of doing anything um, either against them or for him mm -hmm. if, if, or her? Um, so I, I leave it up to, uh, I leave it up to God. To, to if there's if there's a punishment that needs to be there, um, it's him. If uh, if I think there's nothing there, then I don't do anything. You don't do anything, yeah. So, but but the way the way we grew up, the way we perceived this wonderful country, and the way it's going, it's almost three different stories. It, it, it's a shame that you know we as a country are going through so much. So much. And. But sometimes you say, well, you know, where, where are we gearing? If, if we gear to too passive, somebody else could come in and take over. And if we, we are too aggressive, we can't even live with each other. But we have to have our house in order. Yes. That's, yeah. that's, that is, is really important. And um, you now we were talking about Latino issues and sure. Afro-American issues and things like that. Yes, we have to have our house in order. Mm -hmm. At all time, first of all, we've been watched all the time. Yeah. The second of all, our children are our extensions, so they have to be. Yeah. You know, they, um, and I know it's probably way out the subject, but they asked Edgar Casey when, when he said that uh, the, uh, the boundaries of, of the United States were going to change, of North mm -hmm. America were going to change because of so much uh, stuff was going to happen. They asked him, well, where would be the the best place to be, where it's going to be the safest. And, and what I understand and what I read, he said, it's not where, it's how. How? If you, if you live your life the way you should, mm -hmm. then you should not fear anything. Um, so it's, 
I, I guide myself. He said, who's, who's my guides? I, I do that. I, uh, I, I...